one in six Americans, according to a recent poll, admit to having urinated in pools. Is that does that cause illness? Well, that causes that causes not only illnesses but allergy. When you walk into a place where there's a pool and you say, I, I know there's a pool in this hotel because I can smell the chlorine, you're wrong. That's not chlorine you're smelling. You're smelling a chemical called chloramine. And chloramine is produced when the chlorine reacts with nitrogen-containing chemicals like sweat and urine. So what you're smelling is other people's effluvia (laughs) having reacted with the chlorine. A really good chlorinated pool with its well-balanced doesn't have a smell. It's a nice, clean odor. There's almost no odor at all. But when you smell that chlorine smell that we associated with pools, you are smelling other people's mistakes. But is chlorine a good thing? I would assume it is. Well, you, you, but you better have it, or, or you're, <laughs> going to be, you're going to be getting everybody's effluvia. Because I've always wondered whether the chemicals they put in to protect us aren't as dangerous as the things they're protecting us against. Well, less so, but there were about 200-some accidents uh, having to do with chlorine overexposures. Um, And some people are allergic, aren't they, or have bad reactions? Well, you're not allergic to chlorine, but you can be allergic to the chloramine, and you can be allergic to the persulfates that they do what when they when they call a shock the pool. They were worried about the pools having too many bacteria and so on, so they 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 put this persulfate material in there. Some people are exquisitely uh, allergic to it. I first found out with. Um, it was Cirque du Soleil because they have a show called O oh, where all the professional swimmers are in the pool all the time. And so they were shocking that pool. And some of those people literally developed serious health. They had to come up with another method for dealing with the bacteria because some of these people couldn't swim in a pool. They'd been shocked. Microbes developed originally in salt water. So they have a really, there's a real nice, interesting area, group of them that live well in the ocean. But doesn't so salinity kill to, off a lot of, of bacteria? No, no, no. no. They, they, that was the my ones fantasy. that live there love it. They would, they would be really unhappy without uh, any any salt. So this idea that well, there's salt water, so it's safe. No, that's just not so. But it's a different set of bacteria and and uh, and organisms that live in salt water versus those that live in fresh water and those that live in pools. Is any place safe? What about jacuzzis and hot tubs? <laughs> Do you know, I know of a case, it was in, I think it was 91, where 23 people developed Legionnaire's disease from walking by a jacuzzi exhibit in a mall. By an exhibit? <laughs> by an exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> because it becomes airborne. So what about decorative fountains? Can the spray from them be contaminating? In, uh, I think it was in Ithaca, uh, there was 1,700 people in uh, 2005, I think, that developed uh, cryptosporidium from being around a fountain. They didn't even have to go into the <laughs> fountain. <laughs> uh, uh, inflatable pools for the kids? Well, kids are the worst buggers. I mean, they, I, mean I guess that's the wrong <laughs> word, but they they bring their bugs with them, and then of course they breed in the water. The that's why if if a if there's really good pool management in a building, the kiddie pool of the people with the young is separate. The the, ventil, the uh, filtration systems, everything is separate. And why are the kids more dangerous? Well, they have more accidents. They, their hygiene is usually poor. Uh, they also want to swim even when they shouldn't. They may have, they may not be feeling well, or they may have diarrhea or something. So it's it's a real problem. Uh, the little panties that are made, you know, for little the little kids, uh, none of those are guaranteed to keep diarrhea out of a pool.